What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, as you can see by the title, we have yet another wedding dress video. Now you guys know I've recently become engaged, so I thought I would do another one of these videos since you guys really liked my previous one where I tested out some wedding dresses from Wish. I've got to say the Wish video was definitely really interesting and all of the dresses were kind of like a miss. To be honest, there wasn't really anything that I would genuinely wear to my wedding, but it's really fun to try them regardless just to kind of see what you actually get for your money and if the photo looks anything like the product that you actually receive at your door. If you guys are brand new here, make sure you guys come and join the dinosaur family by subscribing down below. Also, don't forget to follow me on my social media at Roxoras if you don't already. But if you guys wanna see what eBay wedding dresses I picked up this time, then let's get on into the video. Okay, so this is the first wedding dress that I have right here. I am actually really nervous because the package, I mean, all of these parcels are pretty small. So I feel like a wedding dress if it was good quality, it would not be able to fit in a tiny little bag. But anyways, this is the first one. I have no clue which one this is because I actually picked up, I think, five in total. So let's crack it open and see what's inside. Okay, first impression, it kind of looks more gray than white. It kind of just looks like a white dress that's been washed in a mix of all black clothes and it kind of just picked up the dye and gone gray. Okay, so I know which dress this is now from the top half. This is it and to be honest, it actually doesn't look that bad. It's kind of got like a plunge sort of effect with a tiny bit of netting in between to kind of hold it together, which I think is really cool. So this dress cost me 13 pounds 58, which I feel like is a very, very good price for a wedding dress if this was to be like a really good dress, you know? So this is kind of what it looks like. It does go all the way down to the floor, which is really nice. This dress kind of has like a silky underlayer and then it's got the sort of like lace netting over the underlayer, but it does go all the way down to the floor, which is really cool. I've got to say the quality of this dress doesn't actually feel as bad as I thought it would. I really did think that it would be way worse, but it's not that bad at all. I think as our first dress of this video, this looks pretty promising, so let's pop it on and see how it looks. Okay, so this is the first dress and what it looks like on. I've got to say, I actually am quite a fan of this one. I thought that this wouldn't fit me very nicely just because of the plunge sort of effect, but I actually quite like it and I think it looks really pretty and feminine. I've got to be honest though, I'm still not 100% sold on the color. I feel like it just looks like it's been washed far too many times with some black clothing and it's just kind of gone a bit gray by accident. If this was white, I feel like I would have loved it way more, but I still really like it and it's not like a bad dress for what we paid for it. It was so affordable. Now in terms of the fishtail effect, it's got a very slight fishtail, but it's nowhere near as much as I would have liked it to be. I mean, I can still move my legs around and everything, but I feel like if the fish towel was a little bit more concise, I think it would have looked way more flattering. So I think as far as eBay slash wish sort of dresses go, I think this is probably one of the best ones out there. So I'm gonna give this like an eight out of 10. The next dress we have is this one right here. Now this is actually a little bit bigger in the packet. So I'm hoping it's gonna be a little bit longer than the previous one. Ooh, okay. This actually feels, oh my goodness. This feels so nice. Okay, so this is the dress. It's got a little bit of a lace sheer moment, which I love. Honestly, for my wedding dress, I'd love something that has like lace sort of sleeves like this. I just think it's so beautiful and so dainty. I don't know how exactly this is gonna fit me around the boob area. It hasn't really got any like support or padding at all. It's literally just the fabric. So I have no clue how this is gonna look on. Okay, I'm just looking at the photo, which is on screen right now. And I've got to say, it definitely looked way better on the eBay listing. It really feels like a princess dress. It's super fanned out and I really hope that's what it's gonna look like in person. This is the next dress. I am actually quite impressed with this one. I think it fits really nicely. It looks very, very flattering on. Now the only two negative points that I actually have about this dress is the fact that the lace is a little bit tight and it's also kind of itchy. Like it's not super, super itchy, but it's a little bit scratchy. And then the only other thing is the fact that the top has no support whatsoever. So I just got some like little sticky cup things on. It's not really giving me too much support, but it just means that nothing is on show as the lace is kind of see-through. Now the bottom of the dress definitely looks a lot better in the photo. I feel like it 
just looks a lot more poofy and princess-like, but you could always add a little petticoat under this. When I stand like this with my legs far apart, it almost looks like how it's supposed to look in the photo. And then this is what it looks like from the back. I love the open back. I think it's so flattering and so pretty. Overall, I feel like this is such a pretty dress. I would actually wear something like this to my wedding, although I do love my fishtail dresses, but there is something really special about the like poofy princess-like dresses. So if this was just a little bit more like out there, I feel like it would be the perfect dress. Okay, the next dress is this one right here. I feel like this one, from what I can see through the packet, is gonna be really lacy and really sheer. Oh my God. How cute. That is actually really cute. So again, it's kind of that same sort of meshy vibe, but I love this lace way more. I feel like it actually doesn't look cheap. Like the other dress, the lace kind of looked a little bit cheap, but this one looks so nice. And again, it's got a sleeve sort of thing as well, which I love lace sleeves like this on wedding dresses, you guys. Again, it has no padding in the chest, but it's also got that same sort of plungy Victoria sort of neckline, which I quite like. It has got a zipper at the back and then the dress on the bottom is so cute it's got like the meshy sort of poofy bit but it's also got the sort of like under layer as well which also goes down all the way okay this dress literally looks nothing like the photo on ebay i definitely feel kind of cheated right now this is the photo and this is the dress i mean it's definitely got some kind of resemblance to it you can see that they tried so hard to try and recreate the original dress this is literally the definition of how it looks online versus when you get it so let's pop it on and see how this actually fits. Kind of just want to get this off my body right now because it is just so itchy, especially around my arms. Like the lace is like literally digging into my skin. It's really sharp for some reason, but it is actually a really pretty dress. Like I'm looking in the viewfinder right now and I look like I'm ready to get married. <laughs> I know I was making some digs earlier about how this dress doesn't really look like the photos and I am going to still stand by it. I don't think it does really do the original photo justice because it just looks like a really cheaper version of it and I mean that's exactly what it is let's be real but it just really annoys me how eBay always gets away with using photos of products that aren't the thing that they're selling do you know what I mean it's just like why would you use that photo if this is what I'm gonna get if I was to judge the dress just based on what it looks like to me and forget about the original photo I do still think it's quite a pretty dress from what I can see in the viewfinder that's really far away but let me know what you guys then do you think it's a pretty dress would you wear this to your wedding i mean i would wear this sort of dress to my wedding for sure but maybe not of this quality so i'm gonna have to give this like a five out of ten because i do think it's quite pretty but would i wear it probably not okay this is the next dress what have we got here That is literally so sheer. What the hell? What the heck am I actually meant to wear under this? This is like nudity. This is nudity on your wedding day. What do you expect me to do with this? On my wedding day, exactly. Am I meant to wear a bikini under this? Like it literally came with no underlayer whatsoever. I mean, the lace is okay. It's not like super bougie looking, but then again, what can you expect for 12 pounds? But the previous lace actually looked a lot better than this. I've got to say this lace kind of gives me like granny vibes as well with like all the flowers. So I don't know how I'm gonna get on with this one. I'm strategically trying to cover up my underwear right now because this dress is so blooming sheer that you can see everything straight through, like even my nude bra right now. I'm probably gonna have to blur out like 90% of this video right now because I'm literally just nude. Can you imagine if I was just strutting my stuff down the aisle in this dress? with my underwear on show. That is not a good look for my wedding, okay? I'm gonna have to give this an outright thumbs down because the only place I can think that I could possibly wear this dress is literally to the beach and that's it. And even then I think it would look ridiculous. Now this leaves us with the very last dress of the video and this I'm pretty sure is a little bit of a mermaid moment. Wait a second. I'm getting flashbacks right now. I feel like I've already tried this dress on. Have I tried this on? I'm so confused right now. Oh my God. I feel like this is the same dress that I got from Wish, but this one's from eBay, but it's the same dress. It's basically the one that had all the little 
like pearls, but they're kind of just literally placed in the shapes of boobs. So there's like two round circles made of pearls. And then the bottom is like this fishtail thing. But again, the underlayer cuts off halfway, so it's not really the best looking. Also in the last video where I tried on this dress, but from which I said that this dress had like clear straps. And basically loads of you guys were saying they're not straps and they're just the little things that, you know, you're supposed to use to hang up on a hanger. But no, you guys, these are actually straps because look at the way they're placed. They're placed right at the apex of the curvature of the dress. So these are meant to be straps. So let's compare this one and see how this one looks compared to the Wish one. I'm pretty sure it's exactly the same though. Okay, this is literally the same dress that I purchased in my Wish video. I am so sorry. I didn't even realize that I picked up the same dress. As I said in the Wish video, it's not the best dress. It's really tight and I quite like the shape. Like it is quite body fitting, which is really nice. I quite like that. And also as in my previous video, I'm pretty sure I said the same thing, but I don't like this whole under layer and then the lace continuing. I just think it looks really weird. So again, I'm not really fond of this dress, but let me know what you guys think below. <laughs> so that is it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I had such a blast trying on all of these dresses. I definitely feel like these are just for fun and I'll never find my dream wedding dress from eBay or Wish. And I definitely would not recommend to buy your wedding dress from eBay or Wish just because you never really know what you're getting. I think this video was really fun for me to do personally because I actually really enjoy trying on different types of dresses to kind of let me figure out what sort of dress it is that I actually want for my wedding without actually having to step out the house and going to a wedding sort of dress shop or anything. So if any of you guys are getting married or have considered getting a dress for your wedding from a website like eBay or Wish, I would definitely not recommend it. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that huge thumbs up just down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and also follow me on my social media at Roxaurus. But that is all from me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Mwah.